Well, I've been wanting to talk to you what, what quite you a bit. What do you got? Well, all these UFO disclosures. Yeah. Those are, you're like one of the first guys that I want to talk to because you always have a skeptical, inquisitive perspective on these things. You're not necessarily dismissive. Right. But right. you're not willing to just adopt this narrative that we're being visited by UFOs from another planet. Yeah. So it's, um, I, by the way, uh, let, let's start with the military. Yes. Right? Uh, if there are glowing lights in the sky and we don't know what it is, I they damn sure better look into it. <laughs> right. We give them folks seven hundred billion dollars, yeah. make some percentage of that budget to check out the possible threat of things we don't understand. This it's weird to me that now the Pentagon is uh, saying that these are real videos that they've captured off of uh, naval vessels and mm -hmm. and they're been hovering over defense systems and they don't know what they are mm -hmm. they don't know how they operate. There's a film that was released recently by uh, Jeremy Corbell that also came from the Navy where it shows one that's a transmedium device. It actually flies through the air and then goes into the water. So really, what we're seeing is astounding footage of an unidentified a ufo mm -hmm. that is spherical in shape and and large in mass and it is going into the water this is being filmed that's from, how they interpreted the information yes, that was in well, front of them yeah exactly just to be clear you, yes you, but it you, did go in the water they there's a film of it actually going in the water and they talk about it splashing down they're monitoring it well they talked about there was a, a uh, white caps where they think it was submerged i think that wasn't that the well we could see it it yeah, actually yeah. went underwater mm -hmm. and then they went to look for it and they couldn't find it they mm -hmm. used a submarine they used sonar mm -hmm. they don't know what it is yeah so i hope they keep checking to find yeah, out what it is it'd be nice to know what that is oh yeah something that can travel through the sky I and also the, go through the ocean I, that's pretty crazy i want the military to understand that signal they're getting on their equipment yes because there's equipment between you and what's going on, typically. Mm -hmm. uh, when it's when it's sort of Navy uh, sensors and trackers and that sort of thing. Other things are people, things people see in the sky with their own senses, right? Yeah. Just the light in the sky and it moves in ways they don't understand or can't explain. So, um, but a point I've made before, I'll just uh, rehash it here. Uh, we live in a time where everyone is equipped with a high resolution color camera and video recorder. Basically everyone. And if you run the numbers on it, it's about, I got this from someone from Google, there's about six billion photos and videos uplifted to the internet every day. And in that collection, you find really rare things that you only heard about, or maybe you saw the results of, but you didn't actually see it happen. You see, so there are videos of buses tumbling in the winds of a tornado. Now, in the aftermath of a tornado, there's a bus on its side, and so you knew wind took it there, but previously, no one is going to say, oh, that bus is about to lift into the air, Wizard of Oz style, like the house, let me go in and get my, 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 my movie camera, right. and then come back out and shoot this. No one did that. If you did, you'd be stupid that you want to get the hell out of there. But everybody has a video camera. So we have the images of this rare phenomenon, uncommon, hardly ever filmed, buses tumbling in the air. We have video footage of animals doing interesting things that, you, that no, we never had video recordings of. So here's video of a magpie doing Bernoulli experiments on a, on a, on a water, in a water bottle. Who would have known that even happened, right? Right. Okay, you can't bring the bird into a lab and, and, and maybe you could, but I don't know that anyone did. All right, here's my point. Um, in the 1960s and 70s, there were many, many reports of alien abductions. And I looked out and there was this big red blinking UFO. Or claimed they were abducted. So it went over this way. It went southeast, basically. Stan Romanek's story may be the most incredible. People said, the aliens came to me and they brought me in and then they released me. Do you have any footage? No, they took my camera. Or no, they zapped my, my film and now there's no image on the film. But there were countless stories. Well, now you can stream live from your camera anything that's going on in front of you. So if the aliens come and they want to abduct you, you stream it. That would be instantly viral. Oh my gosh. You know, the stuff that goes viral is much less than that. A cat, that, a kitten that jumps to the table and falls, that goes viral? 
You don't think a video footage of an alien is not going to go viral instantly? But there's none. So I'm just saying, I'm thinking if we were being visited, somebody would have some good footage. If we were being visited, I'm thinking maybe Google satellite images would catch sp spaceships that are not airplanes moving on our surface. If we were being visited, uh, I'm thinking we'd have something better than fuzzy monochromatic video of, of, of objects that apparently reveal themselves only to Navy pilots.